for the boys with the booming system. Top Hey guys, okay, so first attempt at doing any kind of blog thing and it's really hard to look at the little camera thingy hoozy up there instead of at my own face because I'm sure there's something wrong with my hair or my teeth or something. Um, anyway, hey, uh, my name is Holly, alias pen name known as the Lady Hall, which is probably what you all know me as. Your Majesty also works. I prefer that, to, to be real. Um, my, I, I tried to tell my boss that at work, but she didn't go for it. Am I the only one who doesn't understand this? And I, I work with a girl called Princess, by the way. Like, legit, that's her name. And I was like, damn! Anyway. Um, okay. So my obsession, as <laughs> you probably already know from the few kind of beginnery, really amateur videos I uploaded, um... Law and Order SVU, in particular, you know, Eno, Elliot and Olivia, Detective Elliot Stabler, and Detective Olivia Benson. Um, don't talk to me. I do know Elliot is gone from the new season. I am aware of that. I'd really like to be not aware of that when they say, you know, oblivion is bliss or whatever. I'm pretty sure that's what they're talking about. So um, I'm just pretending that he's, like, gone away for, like, marine training or something, and he's going to come back in a year. And he's going to have divorced Kathy because, really, who likes her anyway? Um, certainly not Elliot. Elliot likes Olivia. That's that's just, that's it. Um, so he's going to come back after a year. He'll have divorced Kathy. And then he, because he's not working at SCU anymore, he and Olivia are going to, you know, fall even deeper in love than they already are. And they're going to be together, and they're going to make some beautiful EO babies. That's what's going to happen. Don't try and tell me otherwise. Um, so I'm probably going to edit this part out because my mind is actually drawing a huge blank. Mm-hmm. Okay. But see, here's the thing. This is what I don't get about, um, Christopher Maloney leaving SVU. I mean, he and Mariska Hargitay are some of the highest paid actors on television. Like, we're talking, like, 400 grand an episode. Excuse me. What?! Yes, yes, four, four hundred grand an episode. That, that could buy me a lot of Law & Order DVDs, although I already own them all. And a lot of shoes. Yeah. Hell, I could probably, like, buy Law & Order for what they've made so far. Oh god, could you imagine, like, owning Law & Order SVU? Being like, okay, you're doing that, and you're doing that now. Okay? Right. Sorry, all right, on your mark, Elliot, get over there, sweep it off the desk, lay Olivia down on it, and this is supposed to be kid-rated, so that's about all I'm going to say on that point. Um, but I don't know, again, I wasn't there for the contract negotiations, I wish I was, I would have been on the ground pleading, begging, crying, groveling, uh, really anything. Um, what he was asking for, I mean, I get that, you know, he's been on the show for basically 13 years, um, and that I'm sure, you know, it's nice to, to take a break or, or kind of do something different, but I have to feel like there was something more than just a meh shrug of the shoulders and walking away, because as much as he might have, you know, even gotten tired of playing the role, like, Mershka Hargitay's his best friend, she's the guard, um, godmother to his daughter, um, like, I feel like there must have been something big in there, some kind of argument. I know they switched writers, um, because it's Warren Lee now instead of Neil Bear. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that yet. The new season's gone pretty, like, pretty well so far, considering there is no stabler. Um, I just, I feel like there's, there's something more than they're telling us. I mean, I know if you're also, um, if you're a subscriber to, uh, Juniper Breeze, um, J-U-N-I-P-E-R-B-R-Z-E. She's amazing. Um, she's another kind of, you know, EO, NBC, uh, video blogger type person. That's a really interesting whirl of hair on my head. I'm sorry about that. 
like, you know, it was like an ONBC, you know, they were going to have him come back or whatever, but then contract negotiations fell through at the last moment, and something just doesn't sound right for all the effort that he's put into this, right? Like, am I the only one who's seeing that? I feel like he wouldn't have left without something like that. So, I mean, really, anything they would have spent on him, any kind of ex expenditure regarding time or hours or location, I mean, they would make it back. I mean, as much as everyone says, oh, it's gone on forever, I mean, a lot of people know about SVU. Like, if I talk to people about it, and if I, I don't rarely because I go off like this, um, but they're like, oh, yeah, at least, like, everyone's heard of it. And I feel like it does keep getting, like, more and more popular. Um, I mean, they do have their, you know, primetime spot, you know, 10 o'clock on Wednesdays now. Stupid whirl of hair. Alright, that didn't help things. Um... So, I don't know what's going on with that. Everyone's saying, you know, no, he's never coming back. Da -da 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 -da. Um, Ice twitted, twi twitted, twittered, tweeted, tweeted. There we go. Tweeted last night. And I'm not entirely sure why I'm speaking faster than my lips are moving on the screen. I apologize. Um, let me see if I can fix that. Ah. Doo -doo -doo. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, oh, it's, it's on fast speed. Okay. Yeah, continuous would be good. Space tracking. What's that? Oh, hello. That's cool. Don't need that. Goodbye. Go away. No, I don't want it. Okay, I'll just edit that part out. Six minutes already, you might be getting sick of me. Anyway, on to the new people. Okay, Danny Pino, uh, also known as Detective Nick Amaro. Amaro? Yes, Amaro. On SVU. Part of me wants to say Amaro. Don't ask me why. Um, pretty good. I do like him. I like that he's not trying to take over Elias' role. I like that he, he is a completely different personality, so I think it's going to work better for him. I mean... Still, like, if you're on, you know, Twitter or you're on Facebook or blogs or whatever, everyone's like, oh, you know, I'm not watching it anymore because there's no stabler. Um, so I think he kind of knows that those are just some shoes and some pants. Dear God, the pants. He cannot fill. No offense, I do love him. He looks damn gorgeous in a suit. I will say that for him. And I think he's playing the character really, really well. So kudos to him for, for being his own character and not trying to take on you know, a character that's not him. And, uh, Kelly Giddish. Um, playing, oh my god, I can't remember her name. Amanda? Amanda Rollins? Is that it? Yeah. Pretty sure it's Amanda Rollins. Sorry, I generally wouldn't, yeah. Um, okay, good. If any of you watched last night's episode, uh, was called Double Strands. Very, very good. Um, actually the title gives away so much about the episode, but if you haven't seen it yet, you DVR, TVR recorded it, go watch it. I didn't like the fact they didn't mention Elliot in this one because I mean, like, he's Olivia's best friend. And for someone who only has, like, one best friend, it's a huge thing. And so yeah, they mentioned him for the first, what, three episodes, but he's... She wouldn't be moving on that quickly, even though I know the timeline kind of spans months. Um, anyway, so Kelly Giddish as Detective Amanda uh, Rollins uh, was featured prominently in last night's episode. Um, thought she was pretty good. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about her yet. Um, I've, you know, read some of her interviews and stuff and she sounds like, you know, like a crazy, fun, easygoing person. Um, I'm not too sure about kind of, you know, her, her character yet. Like, it seems like she really wants to take lead. And holla out to Olivia, shut them both down several times, uh, Amer um, Amaro and Rollins, um, that was fucking, f sorry, funny, funny to see, um, uh, I'm gonna bleep that out now, um, so yeah, that was great, um, I guess that's all I'm gonna say for now, I might make this into two videos, or at least edit out a lot of it, so you'll be seeing me, I know, I'm not entirely sure how frequently, Hopefully, 
twice a week. Yeah. Um, at least, like, once for every um, SVU episode, because I really have no one um, to complain to other <laughs> than uh, my readers, because I also write um, fan fiction for EO, as does um, Jennifer Breeze, who I already mentioned, on fanfiction.com, The Lady Hall, if you're interested. Check it out. Um, I have a couple thousand, like, Oh, I know I have over 10,000 reads, depending on what site you go on, Wattpad, or, um, fanfiction, I'm on both, um, I do have, I want to say four EO stories going on, one's finished, one I'm in the process of, and two are one-shots, except one is a two-shot involving Munch, but whatever, um, so if you're interested, check that out, um, okay, oh, a little bit about me, um, I told you, my name's Holly, I go under the alias, not that it's really worth anything now, because I mean, it really, if you read it and you couldn't guess that my name was like, Hall, some, Holly something, then that's a little sad, little, just a little, that's okay. Um, yeah, I am a first year university student doing double major, uh, English, French, looking to go into concurrent education next year, which basically means... Um, that I want to be teaching high school. Um, <laughs> I just got out of there. I don't know why I'd want to go back. Really, like, I did not like high school. It was bad. Um, I'm <laughs> not the most popular person. Um, actually, I think, I think the words frigid bitch were used kind of frequently. But, I mean, that's, that's just me. Like, if you know me and I trust you, like... I do anything like you can have whatever you want from me and it's not that you're walking all over me but it's that like you know if you're close to me I'll do anything for you and if you don't know me and I don't have your trust or you don't have my trust well work on it because I'm not a hugely open person except for right now because I'm by myself so I have no filter um, there is no mask, per se, currently, uh, which is really unfortunate, um, you know, f for me, if I just come back, you know, completely rejected, but it's okay, I'm not quite that emotionally fragile. Um, I do, um, bake the best cupcakes and brownies in the world, actually, I make these really good, they're like, um, well, I added double the amount of chocolate the recipe called for, because I don't think brownies are ever chocolatey enough. So it's like double chocolate, and then I soak it in rum, and it's covered in like a caramel glaze, and it's like baked, so it's all like mushy and gooey, but crispy, because like it's caramelized on top, so it's like a kind of, um, not like an icing, like a coating on top. It's delicious. Um, yeah, so first year, Toronto, Canada, Ontario, represent U of T, holla, St. Mike's College, if you're familiar with U of T. Um... And I originally hail from Pickering, Ontario. P-Town, P-Dot, doesn't sound good. T-Dot, no, no one in Toronto says that. Don't say T-Dot. That's stupid. We're in the T-Dot. What? No. You're in Toronto. Don't say Toronto. Well, you could. But it's like, Toronto. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, the world me. So that's it. Um, my name's Holly. I'm a student, a writer, and an English freak. Oh, musical theater, another thing. I, I, I randomly burst out into song. If my mom asks where something, or really if anyone, you know, asks if I've, where something is or if I've seen something, somewhere over the rainbow invariably comes out of my mouth. Which isn't helpful, but. Okay, so... 13, almost 14 minutes. I'm going to see if I can hit it right on the 14 mark. Love you!